Hey everybody, this is Chris with MobilitySite.com and I've got something new here to show you today. We're going to do a quick unboxing and then a little software, hardware and software overview. Uh, this is the HTC Touch Diamond 2. This is a Windows Mobile 6.1 touch screen and it's got 520 mega, 28 megahertz processor, uh, 512 uh, ROM, bunch of RAM, got a little built-in case there. So that's what we got here. We got a case. It's kind of accordion style. I'll show that when we get the device out. Uh, comes with a uh, headset there. Don't need to take that out, do we? And this looks like a charger. A very interesting looking charger. Hope we have an adapter for that. Yeah. We've got this right here. I guess it slides right in there. There we go. And then connector there. That's a pretty nice looking charger. It goes with the whole diamond style there. I like that. Uh, we've got the device itself. It feels like the battery's in there, so uh, the PR company's probably already seated it. Uh, we've got a uh, USB to mini USB connector. And looks like we got an extra stylus. That's what we have in the box here. So let's take a look at the device. That's slick. Let's see how that works with the case. Oh yeah, it's just got a little uh, band down there to keep it from falling through. It's just a slip case. Got the HTC logo on there if you can see that. So anyway, let me clean this little uh, mess up and we will uh, take a look at the device. Okay, so like I said, this is the uh, HTC Touch Diamond 2. And it's a thin Windows Mobile 6 Pocket PC. It's really thin as you can see there. I'll show you uh, with a few other devices later. But anyway, let's take a look around the device. At the top here, let's grab the stylus out. Aha! <laughs> it does. Uh, pull the stylus out, it automatically turn the device on, which we've got a little plastic covering I'll take off in a minute. So on the top, you've got nothing but your uh, on-off switch there. On the side, if you can see that angle there, uh, it looks like one big button, but it's an up and down volume button. And here in the bottom we have... Um, USB connector and that looks like your uh, uh, what do you call it <laughs> microphone jack I'm not really thinking right now uh, this is pretty stunning device uh, stylus silo where that just slides up in there it's not retracting either it's a full size stylus and it looks like just a speaker port there on the back you've got a uh, 5 megapixel camera and it says here f 2.8 autofocus 5 megapixels so, and you don't have the the um, beveled back like you had on the HTC Touch Diamond, the original one. So, that's about it on the front. You got your speaker, headset, and all that. Let's just take that off right now. Put that over there for future. All right, look at there. All powered up and ready to go. Well, actually, I need to charge it up before we mess with it. Uh, here we've got nothing really going on here it's all you've got the uh, zoom slide bar there if you could see that I don't know if you'll have to check that out in photos but uh, you can't really see that yeah anyway uh, you talk your windows button your back button and your hang up button that's it that's also your home button too and this is touch flow wow look at that how it slides across there that is that is slick that is slick but anyway, um, get back to the home there. Let's take a look at it alongside some uh, popular devices here. Uh, you just heard my my mail coming in. This is the uh, Samson Propel Pro, which uh, there you go. Thickness-wise, it's quite a bit thinner. And let's see. Here's a good one to look at with it because it's about the same size. This is the uh, Samson Omnia. Let's see how it is thickness wise. Omni is just a touch taller and a touch wider uh, width this way from left to right. 
and it looks to be about the same feels about the same thickness as well so the screen is a uh, bigger it's a 3.2 inch screen on the touch diamond let's we'll see here with the big monster that I got here the other day the um, or a couple weeks ago the um, M900 uh, this thing's got the keyboard slide out so uh, it's obviously a lot thicker but yeah uh, let's see here the iPhone the original one if they come out with something new this third time around which you know is rumored to happen I might get another uh, iPhone is just a little taller a little thicker the iPhone feels a lot like the Omnia um, iPhone feels a touch thinner than the uh, touch diamond 2 there alright what else we got here yeah. this is the AT&T tilt um, this by the way is not the a US version this is a European version uh, it's not going to be able to do more than edge here in the US uh, it is an unlocked sim but I'm not gonna luckily I don't have all I've got its edge here in Tuscaloosa so and this is the uh, Samson Ace here or excuse me not Ace Epics and there you go so anyway we'll uh, get a charge on that and then we'll come back and do some software look at it and uh, put you a big video out there and we'll be good to go alright guys last night I forgot to show you one thing um, let's get some light on the subject here on the um, where you put the SIM card and the battery, obviously you slide the the cover up and right there is where your SIM card goes in and the battery which is, I didn't report last night, I'm not sure if it says it on here but it should I can't see uh, 1100 milliamp hour battery and I can tell you with a day of use without an exchange server connection uh, let's see what actually we'll see what the uh, battery is when we get there I'm gonna let this go through and let you see the boot up on this let's set this down here get you a little zoom in there I may fast forward this once we get going but we'll see what happens <clears throat> Excuse me. Windows Mobile 6.1. We got a little uh, focusing problem there. Boots up pretty quick and uh, loads up Touch Flow 3D, which I'm going to demonstrate. Um, with my uh, my AT or HTC Tilt or Fuse, excuse me, I, had, I really didn't use Touch Flow. I used it for the first couple of days and then I ended up turning it off and using SPV Mobile Shell. But I'm liking it this this go round. So, but anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, I have about right here about half a battery or half my battery life left. Oops, let's close that. Click on that. Okay, well it doesn't let me bring the battery indication up. Anyway, so the way this works, uh, it's designed to be used with your finger like that, as you can see. You just slide your finger across. And you see it's going with pretty much ease. Let's start over here with settings. You get, uh, set up your active sync connection, your sound settings, which are like your uh, you know, vibration and your ringtones and whatnot. And I've got mine set to the old faithful. Well, I don't feel like looking for it for you, but it's set to the old style ring. But anyway, you got all sorts of custom settings there that you can set that are uh, built in with uh, TouchFlow 3D. I'm amazed with what H HTC's done more for Windows Mobile than Microsoft has lately, unfortunately. You set your wallpaper, whatever uh, wallpapers you have. We'll just set it to this purple one here and we'll see that going back to the home screen. There you go. Back over here to settings. Your communication settings. Airplane mode, phone, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, now this is pretty neat here. I want to show you this data connection. This is an unlocked phone, and instead of having to mash in all the keys and you know tell what you know the WAP dot whatever whatever whatever, it asks you what country you're in, and I picked the United States, and then it gives you a choice of all these different operators. And once you hit OK, 
hit OK to configure your device with these connection settings. I did that with this AT&T and it worked flawlessly. I got my data connection just fine. Got on the internet and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, set up push, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, blah, blah, blah. Uh, customized tabs. Here you can move around. Like I said, I want to have, let's put stocks. I want to have stocks up at the top. All right, how did it do this earlier? Yeah, there we go. I can move stocks up here to the top and it'll be right next to the home. So if we hit done, and actually it's re, re uh, starting touch flow because I made that, cho um, made that change. So now you can see my stock tab is right there. In the stock tab, well, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. We'll finish up with this. Uh, contact card, you can enter your contact information and whatnot. And uh, you can see my phone number there. Oops. <clears throat> Set up your G sensor. Turn it on and auto screen, low rotation on or off, whatever. Uh, contact card, mail setup, G sensor, and about. And this just tells about touch flow. And I'm not going to zoom that in for well, I could. Using the zoom bar there, if you can see what I'm doing, right across the bottom of the bevel there is it's called the zoom bar and anyway that's how that works so we'll go back here we were done with that so on the home screen obviously you've got you know, not real neat looking calendar and if, if you had more things on your front page it would minimize and give you a view for more you can set different world clocks by clicking on that uh, hit your call history your calendar and whatnot so we'll go back to the stocks now and I'm gonna set this down and get a better angle make sure you get everything there all right that looks fine um, to set a stock here you basically just hit menu delete stock rearrange settings add stock and I don't know one off the top of my head a little uh, let's just go AT&T let's see if that's a valid stock quote or symbol want an edge connection here so we may be on the this might be easier just to hold up for you. Yeah, it's trying to get it, but let's make sure I hit that. Yeah, I'm on the fringe of good coverage out here where I live, so uh, sometimes these demos don't go quite right. Eh, anyway, we'll cancel that. But you just you just uh, you know add to stock and it hit, hit update now, or you know have it set up in the settings to update ever so often. But anyway, I don't want to take too much time on each of these things. We put a, what is that, HTC and uh, AMD in earlier today, just messing around. Uh, people, you can add your favorites from your contact list. If I had a contact list, I haven't set up my exchange server yet. I was waiting until after I do this so I don't have to mask out all the phone numbers and junk. Uh, here, I've got mobility site set as a quick launch. YouTube was built into it. And you can add your own push page here, which is pretty cool. Put title, address, frequency, whatever. <clears throat> it uses by default the Opera browser. So anyway, uh, text messages. This is an indication that I've got one text message, and there it is. Email, if I had it, they would have a little envelope there, and you could flip through the different email uh, envelopes and read the quick little blurb. So, let's see here. I'm trying to get this where it quits coming out of focus for you. Uh, you've got the calendar app. you got your your uh, photo app, which I took a few photos today. Five megapixel camera works out pretty cool. So, yeah, these are the ones I took today. Oops, there's my credit card. Just a little bit of it. And then there's some stock photos there. So, that's a pretty good picture up close like that. Uh, it's also got a camera, or a video camera mode, which, eh, so we'll get back out of there. Uh, the music, got a little play button there, play some music, flip through the music like that, back and forth. Anyway, um, uh, let's see here, we got your weather. I've got Birmingham, Alabama set up. You can flip through and look at different cities that you have 
pre-built in there. Paris and Seattle. I got some others too. But anyway, next menu is the settings again. So there we are. That's it. Um, another cool thing here, instead of the start button bringing down a drop down menu like Windows Mobile, it brings a little quick bar here. It's got a whole bunch of room for other buttons. You can add one by clicking here and going through the list. Let's say we want to make it MSN Messenger. Bam, there we go. We got a little quick hotkey for MSN Messenger now. So, cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, we've got your phone keypad there. And you probably won't see this on the American ver or the uh, carrier based version, but you can flip between a video call and a regular call right there. Uh, you got your contacts and your menu here. I like the way they themed all these menus. Everything looks you know, basically all the same. And you very rarely actually see the back end of Windows Mobile. So I uh, believe that's about it. Oh, we got a quick launcher here uh, you know, where you can actually. I've got the camera app still running, so I just click this X here and bam, it's closed. Connection wizard, bam, it's closed. Bam, it's closed. And then you've got some configuration, battery information. And here's a, I'll have a screenshot of that. But there's your memory going on there. Go back here. We'll look at that, uh, see what we got here under running program list. Nothing right now because I closed it out right there. So anyway, that's about it. You see how quick and responsive all this is. I'm um, pretty impressed with it so far. And uh, tomorrow I'll load the, <clears throat> excuse me, the exchange server up and see how that goes and get a better idea for battery life with a uh, constant push going on. You know, it's, it, that'll drive a battery down pretty good. So, but anyway, sorry about the, um, the fumbling here a little bit with this video. I'm a... Uh, I'm a little out of it, but I want to make sure I got this out for y'all tonight. I promised on Mobility Site earlier today that I would have this up tonight. So uh, it's late, but here we go. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris, MobilitySite.com. Check it out.